we have got uh, we've got state police department, highways, and sheriff's department all working collectively to get everybody out of our parking lot and back home safely and quickly. And uh, everybody will leave via Novak Drive, go straight out to the interstate, and make a left or right. And the state police department, highways, and uh, sheriff's department will will help help you make that happen. It's going to be a they're going to be shutting off all the other streets temporarily to get everybody out of here. So it should be a quick exit. So that's a something I just wanted people to know. We worked on that a little bit from last year. So, right. um, but the rest of the events going very well. We've got uh, we op- gates open at three. Um, our first band, which is a band called Junk Food, they do uh, they do eighties eighties uh, music. They're a great band out of D.C. area. Um, they're starting things off. And then we have Nathan Vargas and uh, then Jamie Seeley uh, is going to be our is going to be our uh, our final band and Jamie Seeley band. And uh, then we're going to have some um, we're going to have fireworks at around 9:30. And uh, we've got a bunch of bunch of food vendors. We have a beer garden this year. It's going to be nice. Um, we have a, it, the event is brought to you by CMC Steel. Uh, CMC is a new company coming to town. Uh, they are uh, they're a, a fantastic group um, that I think is going to add some real value to our area, and uh, they'll they're going to have a tent there uh, and have several folks from the organization so that you can talk to them and and see what they're all about and uh, welcome them to the community. And um, we are we're also have some other vendors there, some product vendors and things like that. And uh, we're going to have a, 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 a climbing wall. And a bunch of other stuff. So it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. The um, the event last year was great, and this year I think should be even better. So we're we're excited. And I know there's going to be there might be some some intermittent sprinkles and things, but I'm not too worried about the weather yet. So very nice, Mr. Barrett. Nick, this sounds like uh, a really cool event where there's a lot of things for kids to participate in. A lot of uh, food vendors. Who who coordinates all this? Who who runs the show? Well, so the MRB Foundation runs the show, but uh, uh, the and our our chair for the MRB Foundation is Jim Marshall with uh, Bailey and Wyant, and um, the the entire group has been tremendous in, in supporting this. And the Eastern West Virginia Regional Airport uh, has has uh, been very generous as well. In, providing field and providing some some personnel to help support things so the uh it's you know and we we have been putting this together for the past oh several months and uh i think that it's it's going to be a nice event it's it's going to be well organized and um and a lot of opportunity for for kids and for for family members alike it's a free event so uh, we encourage anybody from the community to come out how many folks are you uh, anticipating showing up uh, last year we had about 7,000 and, um, this year we're anticipating, you know, about the same could be a few more. We've got, got some extra parking this year and, uh, has put some things in place to make things a little more streamlined so we can handle as big of a crowd as we get. A lot of folks, um, you know, at these, go to these events or what they get concerned about at these types of events is, you know, are there enough food trucks? Are there enough, uh, facilities for people? I mean, you, you all have planned for, you know, 7,000 plus uh, to be there to be able to accommodate, you know, that you don't have to stand in line for 45 minutes and that, you know, there's, there's space and, and things for everybody to do. Yeah, we've got, so last year, I think we had six or seven food trucks. This year we have 11. Uh, we added quite a few food trucks and the food trucks that are coming out that were here from last year know what to expect. And so um, I suspect that's going to be also streamlined this year. Um, and, uh, you know, we've got as far as uh, porta potties and things like that. We uh, we always try to have a few more porta potties than uh, is recommended, just because I know what it's like to stand in line at one of these places and wait to use one of those things. Well, so, there is a beer garden, so yeah, you better have yeah. one close by. <laughs> hey, it's hey, got its own porta potty. <laughs> Nick, uh, uh, we need to uh, once again revisit the kids zone information with Trina Bartlett before we wrap this up. I had a mute button incident to start this interview, so my apologies. But uh, again, Trina oh. Bartlett, Dunk Tank, and uh, Kids Zone. Yes, sir. So Trina Bartlett is going to be organizing all of this this year. We do have a dunk tank. And uh, as I said before, um, Trina's going to be uh, getting into dunk tanks. Anybody that wants to try to sink her can do that. And it um, should be a lot of fun there. She doesn't know it yet, so don't tell her. It'll be a surprise. And um, then we've got uh, we got four bouncy tents. We've got uh, 
face painting, and we've got uh, other other games and things for kids. It's all going to be free. Um, so that should be a whole lot of fun, and I think that kids will really enjoy it, and, and perhaps the parents will enjoy that or the beer garden on the other side of the field. So. Uh, Nick, John Doyle, uh, you mentioned hey, that you didn't think there'd be more than a few sprinkles. If there are more than a few sprinkles, what's the plan? So if it, if it starts, uh, if it pours down rain all day, then the, um, the event itself, we're not going to officially cancel, but my guess is people aren't going to come out and pouring down rain. But we will have a, um, a rain date for fireworks, and the rain date for fireworks is going to be July the 8th, which is the following Saturday in the same location. Thanks. Good information. Nick, thank you so much. I appreciate your time this morning, and I wish you nothing but great weather. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hope to see you guys out there.